Well, new hope tonight that COVID-19 won't overwhelm Utah's health care system and fewer people will die. New specialist Jed Bowl is live with the updated projection models and they're looking pretty good, Jed. Yeah, those projection models from the University of Washington estimate uh, how many people will die from COVID-19 over the next few weeks here in Utah. And they've improved drastically over the last few days, but they're just models and the state epidemiologist says they're still preparing for the worst case scenarios. We're hopeful that those predictions hold true, but we're preparing for the case um, that they might not be. Those models still estimate April 15th will be the peak for COVID-19 deaths in the United States. But that peak here in Utah is now predicted for April 25th rather than the 23rd. The total number of projected deaths by August drastically down from nearly 600 to fewer than 200 in the updated projection. The main reason for the change? We're not seeing an exponential growth that is expected. And so because of that, our predicted deaths are low. Still terrible, but not as dire. The model last week also projected 18 deaths for five straight days at the peak. That has now been revised to five to seven deaths over 10 days to two weeks, a much flatter curve. The projection for the number of people to be hospitalized also revised to less than a quarter of what it was predicted last week. Utah's hospitalization rate of COVID-19 patients remains steady at 10 percent. It also appears Utah will have the necessary ICU beds to handle a surge of cases. We're always preparing for worst case scenarios, so we are actively planning for what we would do if there is a surge on our health care systems to ensure that those who need medical care can get it. All models based on strict social distancing through May. These are all models, and so the daily case counts and the more data we put into these models, the more accurate they will be, and they are likely to change over the coming weeks as well. And again, all of those models are based upon the assumption that we are social distancing, staying home, and staying safe. Guys? Yeah, it's up to us. We can all do our part. Right, Jed? Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, some new numbers show that the coronavirus is taking a big toll on several Utah tourist towns. Summit County projects that they will lose about 10,000 of its 30,000 jobs. And they aren't alone. Analytics from Cherma Economics and Jobs looked at every county in the nation for vulnerability. They found Garfield and Grand near Arches National Park came in 9th and 20th, respectively. Summit County came in at 28th be very different uh, moving forward because it's not the kind of thing to where you can just flip a light switch and we forget about uh, March, April and potentially May. County officials are trying to encourage business owners to be aggressive when it comes to applying for financial help.